Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can format publisher tables to enhance their appearance. Publisher has many table styles you can apply to tables. In addition to these table styles, you can also select individual table elements and apply your own custom formatting if desired. To apply a table style, start by clicking into the table to format. Next, click the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. The styles you can automatically apply are shown in a list within the Table Formats button group. Scroll through the list and click the one you want to apply to the table. To customize the appearance of these default table formats, click the More button in the lower right corner to display a drop-down menu of the table styles. Then select the Table Auto Format command at the bottom of the drop-down menu. In the Auto Format dialog box that appears, you can select a format to use from the Table Format list. The format will appear in a preview to the right of the list. You can then click the Options button at the bottom of the dialog box to display a set of check boxes in the Formats to Apply section that you can check or uncheck to apply or remove the selected formatting from the table format. When you have finished customizing your desired table format, click the OK button to apply it. To apply a custom fill color to table cells, select the cells to which you want to apply a custom fill color. Then click the Fill drop-down button and choose the desired color from the drop-down menu. You can also select the More Fill Colors command to make a color selection from the Colors dialog box. Or you can select the Sample Fill Color and then click on a color to use as a fill color. You can select the Tints command to open up the Tints dialog box where you can choose a color and tint to use. You can also select the No Fill command, and this will remove the fill color from the selected cells. You can also format the borders of selected table cells. To do this, select the cells to which you want to apply borders. Then use the Line Weight drop-down in the Borders button group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to set a border thickness. Then use the Line Color drop-down button to choose a border color. Then use the Borders drop-down to select to which of the selected cell borders to apply the custom border style from the drop-down menu of Choices. In the Arrange button group, on the Layout tab or the Design tab in Publisher 2010, you will find buttons that allow you to arrange other page content within your table. You can click the Wrap Text drop-down button or Text Wrapping to select one of the preset text wrapping options for your table. If you have overlapping objects, you can click either Bring Forward or Send Backward to change the order in which the table and those objects overlap each other. You can click the Align button to choose one of the available alignment options for the table. You can click the Group button to group the table with other selected objects as a single unit. You can also click the Ungroup button when selecting a grouped object to separate it into its individual components again. You can click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected table. Finally, in the Size button group, you can enter height and width for the selected table. You can also check the Grow to Fit Text checkbox to ensure the table will expand to contain text entered into its cells. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.